Hey, Master Gardeners, I wanted to share with you one of my trees that's in bloom. Here we are at the end of April and it's cold. It's 50 degrees today only, but yet my little silver bell tree is in full bloom. So I wanted to share it with you because this is such an excellent native tree, good for pollinators, hummingbirds, all kinds of Lepidoptera species. So what do you want to look at first? Flowers, bark? What? Well, let me tell you, usually this is called uh, Carolina silver bell, Halesia caroliniana. And there are other silver bell species that even make a little bit larger flowers. So this one's all a little bit smaller. We'll zoom in on them so you can see. Lovely little pendulous white blossoms. I don't really detect a fragrance here, but I have it planted next to my walkway for the reason I walk right under it. So if you were to use this native tree in your yard, you would need to have it in a location where it's either over top of a terrace or over top of a patio or in a location that you'll be gazing up into it. Putting it offset off on the side of the yard, you're not gonna be able to appreciate it as much. But it is a native tree that lives in the bottomlands, lowlands along streams or in the mountainous regions, all through Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, I think even over to Ohio. Now, I've got this as a single trunk tree, but typically it comes, it's multi-stemmed. I really wish mine was multi-stemmed, but I'm, I don't have the nerve for just cutting it off because I want those blossoms to stay low to the ground where I can see them and appreciate them. And then they not only are pretty blossoms, but they're followed by a little capsule afterwards. Here's the little winged pod that occurs afterwards. Now, I would say they're pretty at first, but actually last year, I kind of thought there were so many, they were a little bit unsightly. So I came out and stripped them off to some degree. So they get a little ratty looking with age, but a cute little tree, one of the nicknames is possum wood. So I want you to look down here at the bark on this side. I don't know if you can get around here, but it has stripes on it like a, like a possum does. See the little lines in it? So it's nicknamed opossum wood, I guess because of those little gray vertical um, marks in it. But a cute little native tree that I think you ought to consider. Not going to be an easy one to find in your native nursery. But Halesia caroliniana, fun little native for you. Just wanted to share it with you.